Good morning, Ike. May I have a moment of your time? What is it? I'm listening. Our expenses, our ability to fight, the current status of our troops, these are all things that you must know. I see. Having a grasp of all of that is part of the commander's job too, right? Understood. Let me hear it. Very well. Yeah, this is a new mechanic right off the bat. Hey, people, welcome to part 14, is this? I don't even remember at this point. A Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. This right here is our report card, essentially, of the last battle. I forget what it's officially called, but it's basically a report card. We see how much gold we got, how much of it we spent, and how much we have total after uh, after the chapter, how much combat experience we gained, and how much bonus experience we gained, which is pretty minimal, uh, it seems. We also get to see who the MVP was, the best character, who did the most for us, which in this case was Boyd. Way to go, Boyd. What a good boy that Boyd is. And we also get to see who we recruited and who we lost, which we recruited Ilyana, and thankfully, we lost absolutely no one. Because lo losing people is sad, because that means they are dead, and no one likes to be dead. Alright, let's move on. That's it. I think I've got most of it. I'll give you yeah, a report before each battle. I hope that it helps. I'm sure it will. Thank you. I'm relying on you for all the details. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Commander. I'll do my best, but if I have your leave, I must be going. And now we're shot straight into the base. There's a lot to go over here. First of all, support. Oh, you see, we have Ike and Sorin, Titania and Reese. So, I'm not using Titania long, uh, long term, so I'm gonna not support her with Reese because I want Reese to be able to support with other uh, characters. As I said, uh, when I went over support conversations, you can only have five of them. As you can see in the bottom right there, five for Reese, and then only four for Ike because I had him talk it up with Oscar, but I do want Oscar and Soren to support because you see Soren only supports with two characters. One of them is Ike and the other one we aren't even using, so let's do this. So that's how much we spent. Supplies are running low. We need dried meat, fresh fruit. Ike, are you listening? Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I would never have guessed. Sorry, Soren. Look, could uh, you run the report by me again? <sighs> You're tired, Ike. You need rest. Go find a cop somewhere. You can tell? Of course. When you're not feeling well, your left eye twitches. That's odd. I never noticed. Get some sleep. I can manage things for a few hours. Well, I am pretty beat. Go. You know, Soren, you're not nearly as insensitive as the others say. Deep down, you're a big softy. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I'm going. Hmm. Don't let the bug bugs bite. Yeah, there's a reason that's the most popular ship in this game. Alright, and now we have some info conversations as well. These are all one star, they don't give us anything, but hey, we can read them anyway. Soren. Hmm. What's wrong, Soren? Are preparations complete? Yes, everything's ready. You only have only a few robes and musty books. I'm taking a bit less, but it looks as though you travel lightly as well. The burden of unnecessary items is something I detest. That sounds a little harsh. Me too. We're alike in that, aren't we? Hmm. What is it? You've got that worried look again. Well, uh, oh, it's nothing. Never mind. Everyone's really slow, aren't they? Shall I go see what's taking them? Soren, don't worry about it. Hmm? Sitting here in the morning in the sunlight, it helps me to understand. I'm alive. I have trustworthy friends. That's how I know I can go on. I just hope I'm not fooling myself. No, you're not. You're, you're not. <laughs> well, then it's business as usual. I know we'll have troubles, but let us set our shoulders straight and get on with it. Understood. Missed. Ah, uh, I... Good morning. Hmm, morning. Are you alright? If I said I were, I'd be lying, but I'm doing my best. Yesterday I was so confused. Then I awoke this morning and saw the blue sky, felt the sun on my face, and thought, I'm alive. The sunlight was so warm, I mean, it's always warm, but for some reason it made me want to cry. Oh, Missed. It's up to us. We must live the fullest lives we can. We have to live for mother and for father. We mustn't dishonor their memory. So, um, I th may think about them, and I may even cry now and then, but I'll carry on. You're right. Everything you said is right. We will carry on together. Right. Oh, sorry. I have to hurry and get ready. I'll see you later, brother. Yes, look at the time. Get a move on, will you? Yeah, my vocal cords, ugh. Talking is hard for me right now. I've been homesick all day, so this is pretty much the only time I've talked since I woke up. Woohoo. But I need to get this done, so who cares if you're sick? Work anyway! Ha ha! Hey, good morning, Ike. 
How are you feeling today? Yesterday's battle was a rough one, wasn't it? I just remembered I have a voice for Oscar. I should probably do that. Hi, Oscar. Yeah, I'm sore all over. Every muscle in my body hurts. Hopefully, I'll feel better after I move around for a while. I hope for the same. When I woke up, it was all I could do to get out of bed. We're truly lucky to be alive. If those two beast fighters hadn't arrived when they did, we might have all been wiped out. Actually, if the chapter hadn't ended when it did, we could have easily crushed all of them without the need of those two beasts. Oscar? Yeah. I, I can't say I know what you're going through or how you feel, but you should try to remember all that happened last night. The men we fought were professionals, well trained and under the command of a cunning tactician, but not invincible. You're saying they follow certain rules, specific patterns? Yes, I see. If I can learn what they are, they become vulnerable. The next time we meet, we won't lose. Har. What was that noise? For an instant there, looking at you was like looking at Commander Grail. I'm his son, I'm supposed to look like him, aren't I? It wasn't that, and it wasn't an aura or a hunch or anything like that. I don't know what to call it, it was more like the core of your character. It felt the same as his, so... An aura? Huh. <laughs> sorry, that must have sounded pretty stupid. Yeah, everything you say does, Oscar, it's nothing personal, it's just your voice. Oscar? Although I'm voicing you, so I guess I shouldn't be insulted myself. Commander? From now on, when I practice, would you join me? I would be more familiar with the fighting style of knights. Of course, if there's anything I can do to help, you need only to ask. Oh, I'm tired of reading already! This isn't good. Oh, boss! Morning! Good morning. Are you ready to go? All set. It doesn't matter how late I go to sleep, I'm always awake before the sun rises. I can leave whenever! Um, I'm sorry, you know, for everything that's happened, it's all so sudden. Oh, it's nothing, but it's been rough on you, hasn't it? I could say the same to you. I can't have- it can't- it- it- ha <laughs> Oh, the English language is failing me. It can't have been easy joining a band of wanted mercenaries and fighting every day. Oh, it's not so bad. You were forced to join us by the whims of fate, not by choice. I know my father said you had a debt to repay, but he's not here anymore. If you want to leave, I won't stop you. Um, uh- Ah! Ah, what? Ugh, times, times like this. I never have any idea of what I'm supposed to say. None whatsoever. Oh, darn. Gosh dang it, shucky darn. Hold on. Yesterday, in the middle of that giant mess, you didn't give up. Boss? And I knew. That is how a true man lives. So now I have to follow you, you see? So I can be a true man. I, I think so. That's my story, boss. So do me a favor and don't tell me to get last. I'm good to have around, you'll see. If that's how you feel, I guess I understand. I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. All these conversations are so long, never I wouldn't know how. Thank you. I need to rest my vocal cords. Next up is a conversation with big boy Mordecai. Ike, are you prepared? Can we depart soon? Yes, please. Can we please depart soon? It's taking more time than I thought. I'm sorry for making you wait. I see. Then I will talk with you as we wait. Grr, my wounds. My words. Are they well? Can you understand them? Sure, no problem, I understand you. That it's good. Mordecai is not so good with this language. What language do you normally use? With others of my tribe, I need no words. I say all that I must with gestures and with, how do you say, growls. Well, those are still words, they're just not vocal words, you know. Yeah, there's, it's still, you know, the same basic concept. That sounds convenient. Yes, but our tongue does not let us talk to other tribes. That is not good. That is why we learn these modern words. I would think that would be enough, being able to speak with only your friends, wouldn't it? Well, how would you make new friends if you can't talk to them, Ike? Didn't think of that, is it? Did you? I mean... It is not. If there is danger or conflict, we can use words to avoid a fighting that need not be. So using words that many can hear is good. Hmm, using words to avoid unnecessary fighting. That's one way to think about it. All right, now I'm gonna go through outfit manage, and that's those two only. And I'll see you when I'm done. All right, I only shuffled things around a little bit. Mostly I just put stuff into storage that I didn't need, and I sold off things with uh, very few uses because I realized I'm actually really low on cash. Plus I bought some javelins to carry around. I thought about getting Ike another steel sword, but then I realized that I wanna stop using Ike so much because he's getting a little OP and because he can't promote whenever he wants, unlike everyone else. Also, I gave Ileana's uh, Thunder Magic to Soren, and I'm gonna have him start using it. 
One major advantage of Liliana that I didn't go over last time is that she has a higher proficiency with Thunder Magic, which is the most damage dealing of the magics. She also has slightly higher strength than Soren, which does help her to wield it without losing any uh, speed, although actually Soren has the same strength as her right now, so it doesn't actually make a difference. But I still he still has the fire though. Actually, they weigh the same? Fire is just more accurate, but... I mean, look at this. He still has 117 hit with the thunder, and he hardly needs that extra accuracy. Alright, that's fine. Also, I'm saving the rest of my bonus experience, so we can go ahead and go into the chapter. Ah, this place pre pre uh. Ah, this place brings back such memories, it hasn't changed in the slightest. Titania, have you been to Gallia before? A long time ago, when I was still just a knight of Crimea. I volunteered for a military officer exchange program and spent some time studying at Gallia's royal palace. I get it now, that's why you weren't surprised when we saw the Lagoos. That's right. Oh, I've missed the sea. When the setting sun strikes the water, it's almost as though the horizon itself is on fire. Hmm, now that I think about it, my father knew where that old castle was. He sure acted like someone who'd been to Gallia before. Was he here with you? Mm-hmm. And we weren't the only ones. You've been here too, Ike. What? Ike! Oh, sorry. Ork. It's Mordecai. You'd better answer him. Yeah, but... Oh, we can finish our talk later. I'll just leave it on this cliffhanger. After we've reached the castle, then I'll resolve it. Well, that was cryptic. Will said. What is it, Mordecai? Do you tire? Should we rest here? No, I think we're all right. Good. Bjork are such a weak species. A distance like this is nothing. Any lagoos worth its claws could cross it in a single bound. Let? Humph, <laughs> it is the truth. If you persist in this way, you will shame the king. You sound like a fool. Sss, you are my subordinate. Sub subord subordinate. Never speak to me in such a way. What's wrong is wrong. You are a fierce warrior, Leth, but when it comes to the Bjork, you are far too stubborn and racist. What did you say? Come on now, both of you, let's calm down. Mordecai? What? Wait, what is it? That smell on the wind, it's iron. The smell of- it's the smell of weapons, the smell of Bjork. Heavily armored, well armed. Are you sure? Oh boy, look who it is. It's our favorite group of people, the Dayan Army. General Kota, the Crimean mercenaries have entered our area of operations. Ha! Oh, they've trapped. They're, they are trapped. Yes, English is my native language. Call every last man ready for battle. Will you stop the enemy here? Fort Titana, there's lots of Dayan people here. Black armor. They're Dayan men, all right. You're saying that some of the invasion force is still around? Dayan worms. They threat about the Gallian forests as though they own them. I won't stand for it. Oh, the castle is to the south. and Bjork are inside. They carry iron weapons. I smell them. Not good. Titania, gather everyone together. Ha! Understood. What now? What do you mean? If you hope to crush the worms, you do well to capture the ruins in the south. Since you probably want to flee, there is an escape route. We're going to fight. Oh? There are few times- there are times when running has its advantages, but I don't think we'll lose here. I mean, it's just a couple of dang guys, what are they gonna do? I see. I will also fight. Good, we could use the help. Ike, everyone's here. Alright, let's go. I want you to take Mist and Rolf and retreat to the rear. Of course. We're counting on you, be careful. Everyone who can fight, grab a weapon. Grail mercenaries, move out. Okay, just give me a second here. Oh yes, I just remembered, it's not battle preparations time at all. It's time to overview the map. Oh boy. This map, I do not like, it is stressful. For beginners, the turn count requirement is eight turn turns, and that may seem generous considering that you just have to get your handful of guys down here. 
And it, you're right, it is generous if all you want to do is get your handful of guys down here. We have to seize, which means we need to have Ike go on this tile and hit the seize command. It's pretty simple. We also have two uh, yellow units here, Mordecai and Leth. They're going to travel along this path to kill as many guys as possible, or we can have Ike direct them to go somewhere else if we so choose. However, the, uh, the frustrating part of this map comes in the form of these two houses. If you're like me and you can't stand leaving a house behind, then you're going to have to go across the entire map to get these through the sand, which slows your movement. And guess what? There's pirates here that are going to try to get there before you do, and you have to kill them. And guess what? It's not just this pirate either. After a couple of turns, two more pirates are going to show up right here. whoop de doo da whoop de day I can't wait. Hooray. Ugh, the boss here is Kotov. He has a, he's a halberdier. He drops an arm scroll, which increases weapon rank when you use it. He's got a Night Killer, so definitely don't have Titania or Oscar attack him. Plus a Javelin to attack from range. He has a lot of HP. He seems pretty strong and fast. I don't know, he's probably somewhat difficult. I don't know. These pirates, though. These pirates are what have me worried more so than anything else. But alright, now, battle preparations. Alright, I'm done with my battle preparations. And just one last thing of note. Mages, so Ilyana and Sorin, uh, they can move on sand without any uh, movement penalty, which is awesome. Also, I gave Ilyana and weapon and yeah, Mia weapons since th I can bring them, so I may as well have them be able to do something if they die. Oh well, they're just kind of here to be meat shields. So I'm gonna be moving up this way to try to take out these guys as quickly as possible and get to that pirate before he can cause any major damage. Alright, so with that said, let's get going. Ike! Mist, you and Rolf clear out of here! Stay back, no matter what! No, Ike, we're going to fight with you, both of us! What? No, that is not going to happen. Be serious, Mist. The two of you can't even wield weapons. I've got this! A heal staff? Yeah, I made Reese teach me how to use it. I can heal injuries, I mean, just little ones, but still. Little ones? No. There's no way I'm letting you on the battlefield. Huh? Rolf, stop being such a- stop- wait, what was my voice for Boyd? Uh, let me think. Rolf, stop being such a brat, you little twerp! I'm good at fighting! I'm good with the bow! Really? That's news to me. Is that the best lie you could come up with? It's no lie! That's right, he's not lying. Of course he is. What are you talking about, miss? Rolf's always practiced winning with his bow, and he's really good, aren't you? I sure am! And when did you learn to use a bow? Well, uh, let's see, um, I guess I just sort uh, of picked it up naturally. Stop lying, you booger-eating brat. You can't pick up a weapon and start firing away. Someone has to teach you the basics. Well, maybe I'm just a prodigy, because I'm just on myself. You little. You don't know anything, Boyd. That's right. This is ridiculous. Enough, you two go back. No, we don't want to. All Rolf and I do is sit and wait and worry about all of you. We're tired of waiting. We want to fight by your side. Is that so? How about it, Rolf? Is that how you feel too? Uh-huh. No doubt. We'd rather be with you. Huh. What now, Commander? We take him with us. We're too pressed for time to sit around here bickering. And at least if they're nearby, they'll be easier to protect. Are you serious? Yes, we are good. I hope not. Okay, I need a chance to recover from my sick real quick. Okay, so here's my plan for my very first turn. This guy has a pole axe, which means he's gonna do a ton of damage to my mounted units. So what I'm gonna do is have Oscar go right here, just outside of his range, with a celery stick, to uh, attack these two guys, and just stay out of the range of the mage and the fighter, and the Titania is gonna go inside their range, uh, so, since she's so tanky, and take a couple of hits. And then I'm gonna have everyone else sort of move up in this general direction. Also, I need to do my character bios, don't I? Ugh. Okay. Well, let's get started with... Mist! So Mist is more or less inferior to Reese in every single way. She has worse stats all around, worse defense, lower level, her magic isn't any good. Generally, she seems like she would be absolutely terrible and inferior in every aspect, and there would absolutely be no reason to use her. However, 
there is one thing about Mist that makes her stand out and makes her actually really useful and a lot of people swear by her. When she promotes, she gets a mount. So she can ride around, heal people, and then canto back. Having that much range on a healer is absolutely insane, and it allows you to do a ton of things. You can heal people easily and then just have your healer get out of the way. You don't need to worry about healing people on the front lines because you can just canto out of there. She also gets swords, but her strength is so terrible that hardly matters. But yeah, um, I've never used Mist. I'm going to use her this time. Having a mount really changes things, and uh, you get very few master seals to promote your units in this game, but y using uh, one on her as soon as she reaches level 10 can be a really good idea, since the main reason you want to use her is for that mount, and she doesn't get that until she promotes, so the earlier you can get that, the better. Next up is... Oh, the world disappeared again. Oh, wow, you guys can't see that, but it did. Is Rolf! Oh boy, Rolf. Oh, Rolfy, Rolfy, Rolf. If my voice for him didn't make it obvious, Rolf is a pathetic little doofus. Nothing wrong with that, unless you're trying to be a successful unit in a Fire Emblem game, then it's kinda hard to be good if you're a pathetic little doofus. He has bad stats, he has bad growths, his bases are poor, it's nearly impossible to level him up because his strength is just so horrible, he barely does any damage. Uh, it's, it's an absolute nightmare to use him. Uh, I have used him before, he's surprisingly okay once you promote him, uh, but that's a long, long, long journey. The only reason you would want to use him is so that you have someone to use bows. And there are two other options for bows in the game, and one of them is substantially better, the other one's also kind of bad, but we, we can just ignore that. However, I'm gonna use Rolf. I know, that sounds crazy. But I want to show off every single class, and that means I need an archer slash sniper, which means... Welcome to the Team Rolf. Yay, I can't wait. Alright, and with those quickies out of the way... What was I doing even? I don't even remember. So Ike. Allied units, Ike. Move Ike. Before you hit wait, hit direct. Rome. If you hit Rome, they all just kind of go wherever they feel like it. In this case, they will go towards the boss. Halt, they won't move at all. Target, you can send them to a specific point and avoid, they will try to stay out of enemy ranges. I'm going to have them target the house. Or actually, let's have them go right next to the house, just so that they can get any guys along that way and protect it for us. Move out for the targeted area. Now, the thing about Lagoos is they aren't automatically transformed. They have transformation meters. They start out untransformed. As you can see, Mordecai's is at 0 while Left's is at 16. With each turn and every time they go into combat, that will go up if they are untransformed, or go down if they are transformed. So, while they are incredibly powerful while they are transformed, they aren't- they're actually very useless while they aren't. Now, having- each Lagoos unit has a different base for where their meter starts out during the chapter. With Left's, it starts out at 16, which means that she will be able to, uh, to transform almost immediately, which makes her useful for a good part of the beginning of a map. Whereas Mordecai starting at zero means that he won't transform until later in the map, but by that point, Leth might no longer be- might not be transformed anymore, and so he's able to fill in where she no longer can. Generally, people prefer Leth because she, uh, she can transform sooner, whereas Mordecai cannot, but I think Mordecai has his, has his advantages, especially in longer chapters. So now let's just keep moving all our units up. Oh, Rolf. Oh, Rolf. This is why I didn't use any of my bonus experience, by the way. Because I'm gonna need to pour a lot of it into Rolf. And Mist as well, but she's a healer. You know, typically you want her to stay as far away from enemies as possible, so... It's... She's gonna be fragile no matter what. You don't need her to get level ups desperately. Partner phase. Let's see which direction they decide to go And Here goes Leth, transforming. They're going up. Interesting. Hopefully that doesn't cause any complications. Alright, Oscar. Start off us strong. Oh boy, Oscar. That was quite the boydish move of you, boy. That is actually really bad. Oh no, that could cause some serious problems for me. Um, well, maybe not. If Titania kills. Nope, she doesn't kill this guy. The one time I actually want Titania to kill somebody, and she doesn't. Thanks so much. Wonderful. These guys, they're on the move, uh, but who cares, really? Oh no, this is exactly what I wanted to avoid. No, okay, this is a disaster. By the way, what is it? If there is some special- yeah, I know, she's just saying that, uh, that we can command her. I know, I shouldn't skip it, but 
You know, I don't care. I'm, I'm tired of reading. I'm tired of reading, okay? Stop it. Stop bugging me. I said leave me alone! Okay, thank you for leaving me alone. Rolf, shoot somebody. Oh, Rolf. First kill. First kill of the chapter goes to Rolf. I told you, he's MVP of the playthrough right here. Look at him. Look at him MVPing all over the place. Peeing right over that MV. Oh, wow. What a, way to go. Way to go. 40 experience. That's what happens when you're level 1. 18 HP. Gosh dang. He cannot take a single hit, can he? <sighs> now what to do now? Boyd. Boyd, are you kidding me? Oh, please hit Boyd. Please hit Boyd. This is a risky move. I should not be doing this, but I am anyway. Okay, 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 okay. Yes! Okay. Boyd, if you had missed, I would have been very disappointed. We already had one miss from the Green Hair Brothers. What do you think their last name is? I bet it's... I'm gonna say it's Rodriguez. I know it's not Rodriguez, but... See, at my school, there's these three guys with the last name Rodriguez. They're brothers. Actually, they're triplets, which these guys aren't, but, you know, I, I, whenever I see three brothers, I just think Rodriguez. So I'm going to say that their last name is Rodriguez. So Oscar Rodriguez, uh, Boyd Rodriguez, and Rolf Rodriguez. Um, if I can kill that pirate, that's a lot of heartache that goes away. So I have to kill this guy, though, which means celery is my best bet. I hate to waste it, but I don't care. Oh, by the way, last time I said to leave uh, comments. Naturally, I, I mean to leave questions for me to answer in my videos in the comments. Naturally, I have one viewer, and that one viewer, Mr. Airhead, uh, I cannot sing your praises enough. Your dedication to my channel is astounding, and I really, really do appreciate uh, the fact that you take the time to watch my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. But aside from that, he left me ten questions. I can't kill this guy, but whatever, it's fine. He won't be able to get away. And so I'm going to answer some of them right here for you. Starting with the most important question. Oh, but first of all, let me explain this. This is a Venonax. Sorry for building up suspense and then relieving it. I mean, not relieving it, but... Venonax. If it hits you, you will be poisoned. Poison does a, a little bit of damage every turn. It goes away after a couple of turns. I don't know exactly how many turns. It's not a, something to worry about. It's a very minor thing. Rarely do... It doesn't ever matter. Anyway, the most important question of all... Now, uh, this is not the order in which he left them, but it's the order in which I am answering them. What is your favorite Pokemon? 